Welcome back everybody to the new Bee Garden channel. My name is Rigo. I'm Yaya! And today I'm gonna talk to you about a couple observations I did on two varieties. First of all, it's gonna be on Panache Tiger. So this Panache Tiger I got as a cutting and it has grown crazy. This fig tree gave me probably about nine figs. However, they all either fell off the tree. If not, they turned really yellow with really brown spots on it. It almost looked like it got rust on the figs. And they just did not ripen correctly and they were not good. So I can't say that I tasted a, correct, a correctly ripened um, panache tiger, but it's beautiful. So you can see the wood is getting real thick. Me and Yaya and the family were looking forward to eating this fig because we've seen so many pictures of it and it looks really nice. I'll give it another year to try it out because, you know, people say it's really good. Now the other variegated fig I'm talking about is Cote d'Ame Rimada. This one I heard is supposed to be another variegated type. It is a Cote d'Ame because I could tell how thick the necks are. And there's one that's actually ripened right here. Uh, the Panache Tiger actually got similar spots to this one, but they were really, really brown. They didn't even look like sugar spots. Um, this one looks more natural, but as you can see, there's no coloring on it. There's no stripes. And also on the um, tree itself, I don't see any real variegations. See, the whole tree is like just normal. This one is ripe and this is the first one that ripens here and it is ready to go. I'm gonna tell Yaya to open it really quick so that I could see it. I'll take a picture of the fig and the leaf and post it on the figdatabase.com website so you guys could go and check it out and get some information on it. I'll also post my review and I'm covering Yaya's face because that's awesome to do. But look at the size of this leaf. It's a beautiful leaf just like my daughter. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh look she got shy. You're blushing with the fig and all. <laughs> and Yaya was telling me right now that a figo preto is what? It's splitting because I didn't get to cover it because it's like against the stick. All right, let's go check out that figo preto you're talking about. Oh, I forgot to mention, unlike the panache, the um, Cote d'Am Rimada, although it hasn't produced many figs uh, to eat, at least not ripened yet, none of them have dropped and it ripened correctly. I believe it's um, perfect. So, I don't know. I guess I'll get less from this one, but at least I'll get to taste the fig. While panache puts out a lot of figs for me, but they didn't ripen correctly, so. Like this one. Oh, that one is... Yeah, What's wrong with this one? It's splitting. Oh, it did split. Split right on the butthole. It looks like something got in it. That's a bird, yeah, yeah. A bird packed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a bird. So, see, I didn't cover this one. Me and yeah, didn't cover it, so a bird got it. That's all right, though. It's still producing a whole bunch. And we're going to be eating a lot of this figo pareto. Producing a lot and they taste This is the only tree I have, and all these air layers are already spoken for. And I even got to give out a little bit of wood, but I'm not even going to have enough wood to propagate another one for myself. So somebody's going to stay without cuttings and I'm going to have to say, sorry, buddy, maybe next year. So I brought it in here to show you guys even better shots of it. It's a nice looking fig. Close the eye. Closed eye. Nice thick neck. And there's the leaf. Compared to a quarter, that's what it looks like. All right, guys. So now Yaya is gonna do the honor once again yes. to cut open the fig. Open, it's nice and red. Look at that. 
Look at look at look at look. All right, so now the girls are gonna taste it. You want to cut this one in half, yeah? So, yeah, because that one's bigger. Yeah. There you go. Wow, this is the most reddest fig I think we've cut open, right, babe? That was ours. It was super soft. Yeah, that was ours. The reddest that was ours. Without the wasp. The wasp. All right, so girls, go for it. Leave me this one because it's less red. Go ahead, babe. We're going to let the girls taste it. So that's Col de Dame Rimada. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. So sweet. Is it? When I say keep her, keep her. <laughs> I knew like five trees of this. Yeah? Is it's it that really good? good babe. Mm. It's oh my god. Good. Seeds or no seeds? Mm. Like A little bit. One seed or Very two. light seeds. So no seeds. We'll say no seeds. Because on the database, I gotta fill it up either non, moderate, or you know. So no There's seeds. A little bit of seeds. Like no seeds. seed crunch. No real seed no. crunch. No real seed crunch. There. All right. Let's see if he uh, has so a similar reaction. Right. Mine has more of the white area on top, but we'll see. It's mm. good, huh? Taste that's that jammy. That's really it jammy. is jammy. Mmm. So good. So jammy. All right, guys. So that is it for. Cold de Dame Rimada. Excellent fig, delicious. Um, I guess it's a little late ripening variety, but either way, I'll wait for it and the girls like it, so it is a keeper for us. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, we love you and we'll see you next time. I got the biggest pizza, oh, I got the biggest pizza.